Damage estimates are still coming in, but currently it's totaling in the hundreds of millions of dollars for our very, very small state. The impact on Vermont's farmland is stunning. This is Paul Mazza's farm. And he was, that farm, vegetables, row crops, that was under enormous amounts of water with the, when, when the water receded, the crops, the berries, uh, the pick your own crops that are so not only important to families and nutrition, but was a revered activity by families in Vermont to come to Paul's farm and pick their berries with their kids. He's not gonna be able to harvest any uh, berries this year. By the way, in terms of the um, damage that was done, the, the USDA's Natural Resource Conservation Service estimates anywhere between 145,000 and 686,000 acres of agricultural land in the state was impacted by flooding. The Conant Riverside Farm, which I visited along uh, with the governor and Senator Sanders, half their hay and corn was impacted by the flooding. Silt from the flood covered corn used to feed their cows. There's real question about how they're gonna make it through the winter because what they do is grow that feed, store it, feed, and, and feed that uh, uh, to their animals over the, over the winter. The Foot Brook Farm, which is owned by Joey and Tony LaHoulier in Johnson, Vermont, are one of the main sources of food for that small community in Johnson. Uh, the grocery store in that town was totally flooded out, but will be reopening. The far, their farm was flooded too, and they had over $100,000 in losses. And what was really bad this time, they also lost a lot of their equipment. So I do thank the administration, President Biden, FEMA. Uh, I acknowledge the tremendous work that Governor Scott and his team have been doing, staying on top of this. And it's been a tremendous effort on the part of uh, Senator Sanders, who's been the leader of our delegation of three here in the United States Congress. But we've got to get that FEMA supplemental.